So you're looking into the prospects of relocating to Ottawa full time, or maybe you already live in the city and looking for a video to validate things that aren't so great about Ottawa. I've lived in Ottawa my whole life, and trust me, I can make a long video about the pros of the city, but today's video is about some of the key elements I would want to know if I was making the move to Ottawa. If you feel I missed some of the points as well, feel free to leave in the comments down below any that I may have missed. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Norton NGO. I'm a real estate agent here in the city of Ottawa. If you find this video valuable or learn anything new, all I ask is you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions on the market, you can also book a call directly with me through the first link in the description. Let's get into it. Number one, it's expensive to live in Ottawa. Now, Relatively speaking, compared to what I would call our bigger siblings in Toronto and Vancouver, Ottawa remains relatively affordable, but that does not mean that living in the city is inexpensive. Ottawa ranked 11th in the country in terms of national rent ranking, with the average one bedroom just over $2,000 in the city, behind suburbs in the Greater Toronto Area and British Columbia. Now, to purchase in Ottawa with the average sale price in Ottawa well above $600,000, the housing shortage and affordability crunch across the country is certainly applicable here in the city as well. Number two, it's a quieter city. Now, certainly pros and cons depending on how you interpret that and the lifestyle that you live, but you may actually see this as a pro for the city. Personally, if I was new to Ottawa, I would want to know that in general, Ottawa is a quieter city in terms of the nightlife. It does not have the hustle and bustle of say Toronto and Vancouver in terms of the entertainment factor. For some residents, they may say that Ottawa is lacking in terms of activities to participate in, can improve in terms of being a more vibrant and fun city for the youth. Anything from sports clubs to sports teams to watch, casual nights out or activities on the town, the overall livelihood, no matter the age, is certainly something to consider. If you ask many locals, this would be a common answer. That said, I've always been one and an advocate for if you're amongst good company, you can always have fun. And that means taking the high road for me. Number three, flights out of the Ottawa airport. For a capital city, the availability, convenience of flights departing from Ottawa on a regular basis is quite inconvenient and underwhelming to say the least. To go to many major cities in Asia, Europe, and the United States, for example, if you're an Ottawa resident, there's a good chance you're a layover in Toronto or have more options out of Montreal. For example, this past summer, I went to Greece. Our flight departure, we actually drove to Montreal, not only saving us money, but it was a more convenient flight path as well. For somebody that travels often, this might certainly be a drawback of living in the city of Ottawa. Having talked to many clients last year who travel to areas such as California, Hong Kong, or parts of India, there are certainly some common feedback in the sense that our flights out of Ottawa are inconvenient and troublesome in some cases. Number four, unreliable public transportation. From memes made about Ottawa's LRT to being a regular topic on our local news since its inception, Ottawa's unreliable public transportation is certainly the worst part about the city. As a major city, it's quite disappointing that our local residents at this juncture anyways in 2024 cannot consistently rely on our buses and trains on a regular basis. Whether that be due to weather delays or simply being late, the LRT took a lot of heat in the early days given its constant uphill battles in being delayed to breakdowns to complaints being issued as well. As a local resident, it's unfortunate that we do not have the reliable infrastructure of cities like Toronto where commuting is so prevalent and it's important to note if moving to Ottawa, this may be an element of adjustment being a city that favors drivers and not public transportation. Well, there you have it, your list of the worst parts of living in Ottawa, in my opinion. If I missed any, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and see you on the next one.